I don't know what that was Hello and welcome everyone to Sunday with Ola number 51 Welcome Next week is Sunday with Ola 52 That means I've been going on for one full year of Sunday with Ola How about that? This past Monday I released my new album Star Singer and uh, boy oh boy Guys, thank you so much I've seen probably all of your messages and comments regarding the album and it's really overwhelming uh, to see the reaction It also makes me very relieved and uh, yeah, it's just nice man to finally release this album so uh, thank you so much for all the support Louise is still in there she's pa still packing orders you know, every day and we're still waiting for vinyls so uh, it, you know Everything just continues on But for me, I mean, I made the music and recorded everything and that part is done But now it's just the rest, you know So, yeah, it's available on Spotify, on uh, my YouTube channel, wherever you listen to music And obviously also in physical format If you buy something from our web store, you know, that's Louise sending it In the other room right there Hello, Louise uh. Sounds a little irritated, but that's okay No, but thank you so much, guys, for supporting independent music uh, not only my music, also be sure to, you know, if there's a band out there you like An artist that you uh, follow, and, you know, maybe consider getting their album Buying some merch, stuff like that That keeps them afloat Let's just say that Thank you so much, guys I'm, I'm really good with making pigs fly, by the way Not pigs, pigs, look Can I get into the glass? <laughs> oh, it went to the bottom, great Also going back to the thing I said there about You know, I've done the so Sunday with Ola for almost a year now And I know Sunday with Ola has become somewhat of, you know uh, Routine for a lot of people to watch, you know, Swola Every Sunday morning But uh, I'm thinking now, as of right now I'm just a little bit exhausted If you understand what I'm saying So I'm not sure how many more small, smolas, <laughs> swolas I will make But I have a plan where I'm gonna make something else instead of Sunday with Ola It will still be like a, you know, morning show There will still be something for you guys I think that Sunday with Ola will probably take a, a small little break Let's just say that So, uh, but don't you worry, there will still be content on Sundays And the content that I have planned for uh, those Sundays Will uh, depend a little on you guys So I recommend you guys go to my sub, uh, subreddit, uh, Ola England subreddit And follow it Just go, just go follow my subreddit as a first step And I'll let you guys know what uh, I need from you guys At a later point How about that? Let's just head on with the news guys Maybe not a piece of news, but you know Metallica is a cool band Do you know about Metallica? No? It's a, it's, it's a rock band, that's really good Anyways, I thought we would listen to Metallica Battery But it's a major key Made by Iberia Unchained It's been 35 years since Master of Puppets And you know, Battery is, you know, it's a song that goes in minor But this is Sunday with Ola, we're supposed to be positive Let's check it out in major Oh Okay Oh shit <laughs> Is that really Kirk Hammett? <laughs> That's beautiful man Positive Metallica, how about that? Oh, I can't wait to hear the main riff <laughs> I'm just wondering, is this gonna get my video demonetized? I feel like dancing, man <laughs> Shit. Oh god. Oh shit. Rocket Queen. It sounds like a completely different song. And even though it is positive and I'm positive, Ola. 
I think I like the original more, just saying. You know, this reminds me a little bit about Offspring, but more metal, and with a, with a girl on vocals, just saying. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Best part, right here. All right, okay, okay, I think that's enough positivity for today. Sorry, yeah, there you go. Positive Metallica, everyone. Okay, very important piece of news right here. Uh, we need to talk about this, but Guitar World has a poll where you get to vote for the greatest guitar riff of all time. Here it is, check it out, check out the riffs. You know, I saw that they had Pantera Walk on there, and, you know... I mean, Opeth is also good, man, ugh, but... Can't we all just go in on this Guitar World website and vote for uh, Pantera Walk? Please? I mean, isn't Walk the, like the best riff ever? I mean, I know it's been played to death and, you know, people... It, it's just so good, man. Can't we just go all go in to this website and vote for Walk? It would be cool to see if, you know, us right here have power enough to make Pantera Walk the best guitar riff according to Guitar World. How about that? I'll put a link to this poll in the description of this video. You can go vote for Pantera, please. I mean, obviously, you can vote for whatever the f you want, but please, vote Pantera. Just saying. Opef announced 20th anniversary deluxe reissue of Seminal Progress. Uh, okay, let's try it again. That's just that's just too hard to read from uh, for a Swede. Opef announced 20th anniversary deluxe reissue of Seminal Progressive Death Metal Effort Blackwater Park. Holy shit! Can we have an applause for you know me reading this sentence right here? Thank you. The Limark album was a stepping stone into professionalism for us, says Opef leader Mikkel Orkefell. Holy shit! This album. I mean, look at this. This right here is one of my favorite metal albums of all time. I mean, come on, have you not listened to this album yet? If you haven't, go listen to it now and I'll wait. Uh, I'm not gonna wait. Anyways, they're releasing a bunch of different vinyls and whatnot, and this makes me extremely excited. Uh, you know, damn it. I mean, they have all these cool vinyls. I mean, look at this. Deluxe LP, Dark Smoky, Transparent. What? Uh, God damn it. If I was a vinyl collector, I would definitely get this. Holy shit. I just want to celebrate this album. It's such a kick-ass album. And if, like I said before, if you haven't checked it out, it's one of the best metal albums of all time, in my opinion. When it came out, it was, it just blew me away how awesome it was. It's, it's still awesome. You know, it's, uh, I, I think for me that's the mo the best Opeth album. I mean, Watershed is also really good. Uh, I also like the, the previous albums a lot, the ones before Blackwater Park, but Blackwater Park just holds such a, you know, it's just such an important part of me because that's when I was like, when I, like 18, 19 years old. And, uh, you know, I was really into music and I found this and I also found Nevermore at the time. And I was like, God damn, I love metal so much right now. So it's just, it's just a banger, man. Check it out. All right, since we were talking about Mudvayne last week, I figured we would uh, check out this article. Watch a rooster sing along with Mudvayne's dig. Uh, that just sounds too good to be true right there. What? How do I do this? Oh, it's TikTok. All right, here it is. Let's try it. Dang, dang, dang. This is becoming a TikTok channel right now. Now that's a long scream. Oh sh! That's a poor, poor little rooster, man. I feel sorry for him. It's too long of a scream. It's longer than the original scream, isn't it? What a champ! I like that. I don't know about you guys, but that was the news. <laughs> <laughs> Great news, thank you. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. Adventures with Ola. I'm on my way. Getting more tattooing work done. 
it's actually nice to take these days where you go and tattoo yourself. It's almost like a vacation because, you know, I can't really do anything. I just sit there and have pain. There's just something really relaxing about that. I can't just put my finger on it. But I think it's just the, the part where I'm not doing anything because I'm constantly doing things otherwise. So, but yeah, right now I'm on my way over to Örebro, the most central town in Sweden. And uh, yeah, I'm also gonna stop at McDonald's to get some breakfast. Ja, hej. Jag skulle vilja ha en uh, bacon mac uh, muffin, bacon och ägg. Jajamän. Och uh, två mac toast. Jajamän. Kaffe. Absolut. Det var bra så. Tack. Tack. Yeah baby. Coffee time. Om du tar för kläder på ett kommer vi ut med din mat. You might be wondering, why is Ola eating at McDonald's? Well, the fact is that McDonald's in Sweden is actually not completely terrible. <laughs> they have a good breakfast, as I'm gonna show you very, very soon. They got me to park the car, because today was not a fast food day, apparently. So on the tattoo today, we're basically gonna finish off the last back upper arm stripe. And uh, I think that is the last part, and then he's probably gonna do some touch up. I'm not sure how much we'll do today and if it takes another sitting, but we're gonna see. It's basically gonna complete the whole thing today, and then he's probably gonna need to go and uh, fill in with blacks and highlights and stuff like that, just basically make everything pop. So yeah, I'm really extremely excited for this one. We're kind of reaching the end of this tattoo session in my arm, which I'm, I'm really stoked about that. It's been a couple of long sessions. So, what about so let me show you what it's all about. Okay, I think this is what took time. The egg, uh, bacon and egg McMuffin. What a beauty, look at that. Freshly fried with gutter oil, great. And then we have what we Swedes call a Mac toast, which is basically two Big Mac middle sections of bun with melted cheese and ham. Simple as that. That's a good old, very nutritious McDonald's breakfast for you right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always get a lot of questions from people asking like, how do you look so well? How can you stay so slim in a day like this? And you know, I'm like, you know, it's the Egg McMuffin, man. It's the Egg McMuffin. Mm -hmm. There's just something about burning your gum with some hot McDonald's chocolate only to have no taste feeling while eating an Egg McMuffin and a McToast. 10 out of 10 would do again. <laughs> some elbow action. And that's the plan for the rest of the day. It's gonna be sick. I think we found the most beautiful stance <laughs> yeah. I've ever been in to fill the elbow. Ah! Me too, like It's okay. I was just joking. It was not. It was not hurting. <laughs> All right, we're on the Nick Johnston hour, which means that everything becomes easier. But yes. Definitely getting somewhere. Now we're just changing the position. Me, I can record, so I'm You're a fan. Yeah. Have you heard liquid tension there? You a fan of that? Liquid tension. If it makes you stressed, play something else. <laughs> sure. One awesome thing about Henry here is that. We kind of share the same music taste. <laughs> so it's really easy to find music to listen to. He just suggested like, let's listen to some old Reefer. Fine with me. <laughs> oh, it's Nick. So we're done for today. Unfortunately, 
what we did today is exactly where I can't see myself, so I have to walk, look in the mirror all the time. But it's really cool. Thank you for today. That's Henry. <laughs> so, Sunday with All Rift Challenge, which has been going on for almost a full year, guys. We've been riding riffs every week for a year. That's 52 riff ideas right there. I also did a cover once, you know, of uh, Six Pounder by Alexi Laiho. Other than that, it's been mainly new riffs, you know, and I, it, that means 52 new riff ideas that I can use for some bullshit. No, I don't want to call myself. No. No, don't call me. Fucking <laughs> Siri, man. What's up? Let's check out last week's contributions, okay? So we have top this week. Here's Peter the Destroyer. He's top, but he's already been on here, so I'm gonna skip. Sorry, Peter. Oh, here's my favorite uh, washing machine guy. Oh, he's. Ooh, he's playing Call of Duty. I can see that. Gulag. I mean, look at this guy. He's making kick ass riffs in his basement. Right next to his washing machine. How cool is that? Listen, are you hearing this, man? Tell him on it. Man, that's cool. Awesome. My favorite washing machine dad right there. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Someone was playing Switch. That's cool. Okay, next we have Jim Guitar. Yeah, he's going for a different round here, okay. Completely different from the last contribution, won't you say? Huh? He's channeled... Uh, he's channeling his inner force with a baby Yoda down there. He does... Is that Alyssa van Gluten on his uh, t-shirt right there? In Arch Enemy, that's cool. There it is, man. Jim Guitar, well done. Nice. Then we have Cross Angel 89. Let's do it. Jim Root Stratocaster. He's picking up the guitar. Very slowly. Yes. I like this riff. Well done. Solo. Apple Watch. That's cool. He didn't get uh, disturbed by Siri. You know, that's a, that's a good thing. There you go. That's Sunday with all the Rift Challenge for you right there. Uh, if you want to be uh, among these and uh, maybe have me check you out, download the drums in the description of this video. You can make riffs to that, upload it to YouTube, and then to. Uh, Sunday with Ola uh, subreddit Rift Challenge Swola, and uh, maybe I'll find you. Okay, thank you so much. Ola tasting shit. Men vad heter han? Kristina Reiter. Christian. Christian. Uh, Christian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ola and Louise tasting shit. Today there are bananas on the table. I don't know why there are bananas on the table, but Louise insisted that we <laughs> should have them there because they're. Uh, a little brown, a but, of these. but that, that's Ew. that's where they're the mo has to have the most nutrition, right there. No, it has the oh, most is that a sugar. Yeah, that's, really? Yeah. Fruit sugar when they're brown. Yeah. But you're supposed to eat them when they're green. Yeah. Okay. It's better for your blood sugar. Oh. Yeah. Learn something new today, thanks to Louise. <laughs> no, we're uh, we got a package, a uh, little oh, cello, from all the way from Austria. This is Oh, I, know, I need that. I need that. <laughs> These are Mozart Kugeln, which is basically Mozart balls. And this is from a Christian writer from Austria. And uh, they come in this uh, cello formed packaging, which is lovely. I've actually had these. You did? Because I was to. Uh, I went to. Uh, uh, Austria? <laughs> yes, I went to Austria. No, but I went to the city of. Uh, 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 
Salzburg, Salzburg in Austria, which is the birthplace of Mozart. Mozart. Oh, nice. I actually was outside Mozart's uh, birth home and his home. And was he I, there? He was not there, he was dead. <laughs> but uh, these balls were there. You can buy these balls. Okay. So I've tried these balls before. And from what I remember is that they're good, but one short little side of them has a small little portion of marzipan in them. So you had to be careful where you eat. So, you have to so eat it's a gamble. It. Some somehow, yes. Look at that. Oh, look. So there you go. <laughs> See if it can focus. There you go. Filled with balls. <laughs> have one. <laughs> Filled with balls. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This is going to be interesting. I haven't tried these in a while. Probably last time I tried these, I was probably ten years old. Oh. When I was in Austria, I was you know I was down snowboarding. In, uh, in Austria. So how do I eat them safely? You just have to take a side and just hope that you won't get the marzipan. Or? Oh. Oh, you open it up. Okay. Can you see any marzipan? Is that marzipan? No, that's nougat right there. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Where's the marzipan at? Maybe inside? I don't know. Look at that. Oh, okay. They put it in the inside. So you have to kind of eat around the marzipan. <laughs> if you like, if you like marzipan, you just eat them like they are. I'm gonna eat them just like they, like I should. Mm. Marzipan. <laughs> I just love marzipan. <laughs> Not. Mm. I would guess. I, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I love that on the picture here. It like the marzipan is nice green. Yeah. Can you see? But here it's just white. It's just white marzipan. Uh, you know, in the ball. I think right you're there. supposed to just put it all in your mouth, so you can't really see it. I would guess if you like marzipan, they are really nice. Maybe that's how Mozart was, you know. He was kind of chocolatey and nougaty on the outside, and they're really terrible on the inside. <laughs> and the terrible little marzipan Just a terrible little marzipan core. guy in there, <laughs> just saying. I mean, the outside is great. You just have to be careful <laughs> not to eat any marshmallow. <laughs> because that is great. The outside is great. Thank you, Christian. Thank you so much, Christian. That was amazing. <laughs> also brought me back a little bit to when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, and I had uh, marshmallow balls. Uh, Mozart balls. So, sorry. Uh, Mozart bar bar bars. Mozart balls. Mozart balls. From Salzburg. <laughs> yeah, so that was it. Short and sweet. Thank you, Christian, for that. <laughs> this is Ola and Louise tasting shit. So when you're as famous as me, I know I basically can't walk outside the office, and you know all the kids and people will go like, ah, ah, what are you doing? No, not really. But when when you have a YouTube channel, you also make friends, okay? Or uh, and also sometimes stalker friends. Stalker friends send stalker things. Let's just say that from stalker number one, Gem Majura, you know, Evanescence. She sent me a box of something. I have no idea what it is. Uh, as, as always, when getting packages from stalkers, I'm a little nervous of what it might be. It might be, uh, you know, if it's her hand or a finger. What the hell is this? Hey, buddy, here's some chips. Oh, clips, hot. She's writing with this really beautiful uh, handwriting that I can't read because, you know, I'm, uh, I'm brain dead. <laughs> okay, here's some chips and hot sauce for you and Louise. Please read the label before trying. It's the number one seller and award-winning hot sauce from my dear... Fart? Friend? Fart friend. Bro, Bumble. Oh, Bumblefoot. Okay. Hope you and Louise enjoy and survive. Sun... They lost of keys to Sweden. <laughs> what? I I can't read. Oh, look at that. Gemma Jura autograph card. Did you see? No. She sent us uh, hot sauce from uh, Bumblefoot. Bumblefoot. It's the name. I couldn't read what she was writing right there. Oh, Doritos. She basically sent this. In a box of this size, you're saying. Thank you so much, Jen, you little uh, stalker, you know. 
I don't know, I, I just kept on looking into the package if there was a severed finger in there, but no, there was not, thank god. So it's basically the, uh, you know, Ron Fowl, Bumblefoot, hot sauce, Bumble... It's not appropriate for my video, it's just saying. Dude, it looks not okay on the inside. Do you have to try this right now, Luis, since I opened it up? Oh, shit! Oh my god, these are amazing! Paprika flavored Doritos! Mm. I'm just gonna take a little, little dab. <gasps> That's way too much. <laughs> okay, well, let me do this. Okay, here you go. A little bit of uh, bumble hot sauce. Let's do it. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck, man. Dude, I got like the worst hic hiccups. <sighs> oh, that went really quick. Holy shit. <laughs> I can feel it in my ears even. There you go. Thank you, Stalker Jim. I appreciate that. Thank you. And that's it for Sunday with Ola. Thank you so much for watching. It's really burning in my mouth right now. I'm starting to cry. But that's okay. Guys, if you enjoyed this Sunday with Ola, please consider subscribing, consider a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Shit, I have to run. F man. Oh.